to the yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right, Men in Black, David Mayer. Men in Black, David Mayer. Thank you.
Now, a type 4 civilization is an intergalactic culture. They're able to use the power of billions and trillions of suns. They would have the ability of changing the structure, the structure of time space, and being able to slow entropy, which is how our bodies age. As we grow old, things break down. If we could slow that, we could possibly gain immortality. Examples of that, I have two. You have Star Trek, Captain Picard, and that's a type two civilization against the infamous Q continuum, which is a type four. With a snap of a finger, he can go any place, any time. I also give that as an example over here. It's a British sitcom, Doctor Who. Hmm. And they have the Galfrans, which are able to create a portal in space and able to travel anywhere. Nice tool to have. But now I go to the last power structure hmm. of what I am going to demonstrate in this slide today, and that is a multiverse culture. A multiverse uh, verse culture is one that can transcend dimensions. There's a string theory. If you have one possibility that can happen, you have a million. And if you have a million, everyone will happen somewhere in some dimension or space. So imagine yourself being able to go anywhere in any possibility. <clears throat> You would be able to travel to very forms of matter, yeah. physics, space, time. And I find that a really good description of the God of my understanding. Now, humans have currently reached 0 0.7, not even one yet, according to Carl Sagan. If we want to achieve beyond this, we are going <laughs> to need to learn how to play nicely with one another and how to put more time into science and education. That's my concern. With that, have we been visited by civilizations? Ancient aliens uh, culture believes that we have, and they demonstrate Mayan and Egyptian artifacts that mimic the stars. The central zone here is Mayan and Egyptian, and what it does is it views the Orion belt and its structure. Now either they were very interested in the stars or they had influence by another civilization that traveled to us. So with that being said, I would like to show the men in black most wanted list. I'll get to the please in a second. Now first we have the grades. <laughs> Small people, big head, large eyes. They are wanted by the men in black for their abduction of the human species and the manipulation of our DNA. Infinite, in, infamous at any detail. They, they typically travel in saucers, which we're not quite sure is organic or structural, metallic. Could be one of both. Next are the little green men, a subspecies of the greys, which are, in my case, a little bit more soul driven. They are wanted for cattle mutilation as well as destruction of crops. They create these great designs mm. overnight <laughs> um, that certainly. Now, <laughs> Hopkinsville Goblin is wanted for creating distilleries, whiskey. The locals in Hopkinsville see them after many nights of drinking whiskey. <laughs> Very scary. You have Nordic aliens. Now, this is an interesting case because this young female um, what is wanted for sexual assault <laughs> on an Australian man in Indonesia who was able to prove that evidence by collecting some of her hair, which proved with DNA sampling to be of Nordic descent, but there were other aspects.
aspects that we couldn't quite explain. Now, in that case, she is most wanted by the younger fellows, <laughs> by the men in black. We have the cryptozoological species. In Alaska, they believe this species to be multidimensional. They can disappear in the blink of an eye. They are wanted by the men in black for destruction of public property, believing a large footprint, and by the <laughs> Fish and Game Commission, by hunting without a license. <laughs> now this reptilian species is very interesting. They are the most carnivorous of the alien species on our list. And we find when you eat meat, you develop more complicated brains. But if you come across one of these, make sure that you count your fingers and toes to make sure you still have them present. Now. now, as I reflect on ancient aliens in our, of our past, an advancement of human technology in our future, Humans are considered to be a type one civilization in about 100 to 200 years from now. Wow. I imagine I have one foot in my future and one foot in my past, but do I ever stand in the present? So make sure that you keep your eye open and one pointed towards the sky because you never know what you will find. With that, I'll pull my neural line Click. You now can forget about all of the things <laughs> <laughs> and respect the of, 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 of